Now, this is the part of our fertilizer uh, program that um, we want to talk about the delivery part of the program. We formulated the materials uh, previous to this, and remember we talked about that they needed to be soluble. Uh, we've dissolved some of those fertilizer materials and just poured them into our stock tanks. Uh, these two large tanks are what we call the stock tanks. Uh, they, they contain a concentrated form of the solution that we're going to eventually deliver uh, to the plants. We have two stock tanks because we need to keep some nutrients separate from each other. For example, keep phosphorus separate from calcium because if they're together in a solution, they will precipitate and fall to the bottom. So we have two stock tanks. Uh, for example, this stock tank has our phosphorus um, solution in it, and this one over here has our calcium and our iron uh, solution in it. So these are concentrated nutrients, and we're going to dilute those um, and deliver them to the, the crop plants uh, through the emitters. There are a few other components to this uh, delivery system that we need to uh, just make mention of because they're very important uh, in that it allows the grower to automate the delivery of these uh, solutions, the, the uh, uh, dissolving and the um, delivery to the crops. Uh, first of all, the water that most greenhouse growers are using comes from wells. Uh, for our water here in Florida, this uh, well water contains nutrients such as calcium, a little bit of magnesium, so we need to probably in most cases get an analysis done of your water so that you know what nutrients are in that water and furthermore you also know the pH of the water because remember we talked about phosphoric acid uh, being used not only to supply phosphorus for the for the plants but also to acidify the solution. So in this particular setup in this greenhouse there's many many different ways of engineering uh, the components uh, to the system but essentially the water is delivered to the system from our well uh, outside. The water comes in. Uh, in this particular case, uh, the first thing we're doing is filtering that water. Uh, we have, um, we, we're just using simple screen filters to remove any sand particles or uh, lime uh, particles that might have come uh, in the water from the well. So a simple screen, in most cases 150 to 200 mesh uh, is sufficient. This is a very simple um, piece of equipment. The small one maybe for a small grower. You can buy larger sizes for, for larger growers. The, um, the water comes in uh, through the, the, the pipes, through that screen filter. Uh, it goes uh, through a valve, in this case an electric uh, solenoid valve, and we'll come back and, and talk a little bit more about that. Um, and it goes up through these proportioners. Uh, they can be pr simple mechanical proportioners like this for smaller growers, or they can be very sophisticated uh, injector systems. Uh, for larger greenhouses, but the, 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 the basic idea is the same. These, um, these proportioners are responsible for taking out a small amount of the stock solution through these tubes and mixing it with the water in a certain proportion, 1 to 100. For example, one part of the stock solution to, uh, to um, 99 or 100 parts of, the, of water. Uh, these are the responsible. Uh, parts of the system for doing that. Now you can set these to achieve different uh, proportions uh, as, you, as you need for your fertilizer material. After it's mixed, it's then delivered uh, to, the, to the greenhouse, to the crops. Usually one of the last uh, pieces in the system is a pressure regulator uh, that uh, controls the pressure of the solution as it's delivered uh, to the crops. For example, you may be bringing in uh, water from the well at 40 or 50 uh, PSI, but your emitters out in the greenhouse require 10 or 15 PSI. So this piece of equipment here uh, controls that pressure and it also helps make the pressure and the delivery uniform uh, throughout the, uh, the greenhouse. So as I said before, this whole system can be automated. And in this greenhouse, uh, we're using a programmable uh, electrical controller, uh, which essentially is a programmable uh, controller that allows us to set different kinds of different time sequences, uh, start times during the season or during the, uh, the day, and uh, also the length of those run times. And it can also control several uh, valves. Uh, for example, we could have several of these uh, electrical valves here. This one is controlling one uh, that delivers uh, the solutions to the greenhouse, but we could have a different valve if we had different crops or a different zone that we wanted to achieve a different fertility program on we would have a different solenoid. This clock can, can handle several, several of those. So you can have a different program uh, for each of those. So to, to just summarize, uh, we, 
we've looked at uh, the fertilizer materials, the formulation of those fertilizer materials. We've talked about uh, dissolving them in stock tanks. We've talked about the idea of a proportioner or an injector uh, mixing the stock solutions in dilute form and then a system for delivering those nutrients to the crop and also a system for making it uh, automated so that the grower knows that this, the solutions are being delivered throughout the day, throughout the night, and they do not have to be present all the time to turn valves uh, to deliver fertilizers uh, to the crop. It's a very simple system, uh, rather inexpensive, uh, but it does take a little bit of um, study and, and understanding to work out the, the details. And as we said before, there are plenty of publications and information available on how to mix up these solutions, how to de determine and develop the kind of program that's unique for your particular growing situation and your particular crop, and then finally how to, to automate the whole system. 